boys and girls, you're very welcome to Holy Bible Club 2020. Over the years, we've been having our Holy Bible Club in Five Mile Town College, but because of COVID-19, we have decided to run our Holy Bible Club this year as an online event. We're very thankful to Phil Harden and his team who have put together wonderful Holy Bible Club videos with all of your favourite Bible stories and quizzes. And there's some exercises as well. There's worksheets, so keep an eye out for those and your mum and dad will be able to download those. So you ask your mum and dad to watch out every day on our Facebook page or our WhatsApp group and you'll be able to download the videos and the worksheets and plenty of great exercises for you to get on with. They're going to be available every day from the 24th of August for five days right through to the Friday and those are going to be released every day at 10 o'clock. If you have any questions, if you want to get through to Phil or you want to talk to me or you have anything you want to say to us through the course of the week there's going to be an email address and there's going to be a phone number given out at the end and you can send us through a message and we will get back to you and just make sure your mum and dad are aware that that message is going through or ask them to do that for you. So I really hope you enjoy Holiday Bible Club 2020 and we'll ask Phil now to release the videos for the course of the week. Okay, boys and girls, are you there? Can I can I see you? Are, where? Oh, there you are. There, good. Okay, so we're going to give us give us a high five. You ready for it's our high five Bible club day three? Here we go. One, two, three. High five. Okay, here we go. What are we thinking about today? Lots of activities, but the thought today is about. Are you ready? God's power. God's power. So that's what we're going to be our little thought today. So let's pray and let's talk to God. So, ready? P R A Y. Spells pray. Let's bow our heads. Lord Jesus, thank you for this new day. Thank you for every boy and girl that's listening just now, and maybe mum or dad or some older people in the house as well today too maybe even young people we just pray dear god that they, lord each one you will speak to them today and we just would pray that you'll help us to enjoy all of the different things that we're going to hear right now and we pray maybe for some boy or girl who's thinking about trusting the lord jesus we pray that even today may be the day when they do just that so lord bless us now as we think about god's power in jesus name amen here we go I may never march with the infantry, ride with the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom for the enemy, for I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march with the infantry, ride with the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom for the enemy, for I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. Boys and girls, yesterday we were learning the words of John chapter 3, verse 16. And we want to go over it again today, just to make sure we know it really well. And Lauren's here to help me. Now, have you any ideas of how we can learn this? What about ping pong? I love ping pong. So we'll say the words in red together, and then we're going to take turns saying the words. So you can join in with Lauren. I'll start, and then you can go. Okay, so everybody together in the red words. After two, one, two. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That was really well done boys and girls. Now will we try it the opposite way around? This time you start and we'll see how we go. Okay? After two, one, two. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Boys and girls, that was really well done. Everybody give yourselves a good round of applause. And I hope this verse really sticks in your head and you can think about it.
Boys and girls, do you see it in the picture? What's in the picture? It's a lamb. Isn't that right? But where is the lamb? Where is this landmark? Where is it in Northern Ireland? If you don't know, I'm going to give you five seconds to get someone in your house that can tell you where this is. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. It's in East Belfast and it's C.S. Lewis Square. There you go. Might come back to the land, but let's think about this for now. Can I ask you a question? What is the most powerful, or who is the most powerful person you can think of? Some kids will say, well, there's Superman, there's Spider-Man. But then again, they're all just cartoon characters. Some will say, you know who it is, Phil? Some will say, it's a, it's a weight lifter. I can lift the, uh, uh, lift the weights. And they are really strong, those guys. Whoa, they are so powerful. But I know someone even more powerful. Who is it? Who am I speaking about? I'm speaking about God. God himself. God's power, you see, is limitless. Well, with God, the Bible says, all things are possible. What I want you to do, boys and girls, I want you to do this. I want you to see if you can do this, okay? I want you to remember this. It's so, so important for our lesson today. That God is all-powerful. In fact, with God, all things are possible. So let's try and do this little action, okay? So here we go. With God, all things are possible. After two, one, two. With God, all things are possible. What a great God that we serve. Listen, the next thing I want us to think about is this. Two facts. Did you know it took 20,000 men 20 years to complete just one of those large pyramids in Egypt? Did you know this? Second fact, that God made the universe, the earth, and all that's in it in six days. Just six days. He just had to breathe and it was so... I want to bring you to another place now. And I want us to think about this uh, true story about some people, not just some, in fact, there were thousands of them, and they were all gathered together and they were really worried. Oh, but what are we going to do? We're going to, we're going to all be killed. You see, there was someone after them, thousands of people, and in front of them was a great big sea called the Red Sea, and there was another guy another man and he was very powerful and he was coming after them who might this be it was pharaoh remember we're thinking about egypt thinking about those pyramids thinking about pharaoh and pharaoh and all his great army is coming after these people they're called the children of israel and as they come off as they come after them the people are worried and what does moses do he's their leader he says something to them you know what he says stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And in fact, that's what the people do. They stand still. Moses is a man of prayer. He's been talking to God. And there that day, he says to Moses, hold out your staff. You see it? Just like a stick, I mean, just like this, all right? And hold out your staff over across the sea, across the Red Sea, just hold it out. And the waters part. And the people went over to the other side and safety, every one of them, and it tells us that next day that as Moses put up a staff again, the water would come in around those Egyptians. And by the next day, there was none of them there. The problem had been dealt with. God had done a miracle, boys and girls. And so Moses trusted God. And God, well, he showed his power. So as God can control the sea, I wonder can God control the animals? Well, here's another story. I'll throw this one to the side, okay? But this story here is about what we saw in our first picture. It was a lion. Isn't that right? A lion. Now, let me let me put this to the side as well, okay? Because when I think about the lions, I think about Daniel, a man who the Bible tells us, a man who loved God, trusted God, and a man who prayed three times every day. Three times. And you see... One day Daniel was taken 
and he was thrown into a lion's den just simply because he trusted God and he wasn't going to bow down and worship the government or worship the king. And there in the lion's den, he was there all night. And those were hungry lions. Let's see the lions. Come on. <laughs> Come on, do it again. One, two. <laughs> and normally when someone or anything went into the, lion, the, the den of lions, they would be eaten up. Eaten up. But the king came down the next day and he discovered Daniel's alive. How could Daniel be alive? Well, remember that Daniel was alive because of the Lord. Of the Lord. He believed and trusted in God. And God brought him through safely. God is in control of the animals. I wonder if there's someone here, maybe you're afraid. Maybe someone listening today, maybe an older person. And, and you have lots of problems and lots of worries in your life. And you just wonder, can you even go ahead? You just don't see any way out of your problems. I want to say to you today to remember these three things. The three things are this. First one is to trust. Trust in God. Remember that God is all powerful and he can do what you can't do. If, you're, if you haven't trusted him, the first thing to do is to trust him. And if you are trusting him, remember that he is your heavenly father. When you trust the Lord Jesus, you become one of God's children. And so there, then you have a heavenly father that will watch over you and will, and will make sure that you are safe. Listen, second thing, not only to trust, but to talk. Who do too? Well, if you have problems and difficulties, boys and girls, you know, you're worried about something, it's important to talk to your mum, to your dad, to your whoever's looking after you. That's important. When I think about the Bible, I've got the Bible down here, and I think about the Bible, and the Bible tells us to talk to God in prayer, to talk to him, and to bring all of our worries to him. In fact, the third thing that leads on to this is to throw. Now, I don't mean throw a stone, okay? But to throw all your cares. In 1 Peter 5 and 7, See all your worries? It simply says, casting all or throwing, throwing all your cares upon him, upon God. For he cares for you. God cares for you. God can give you peace and he can also give you strength. He can give you the peace and the strength to go through whatever it is you're facing. Listen, how he loves us. The greatest miracle to see as we see God's power in the Bible, boys and girls, is the fact that God raised his son from the dead, the Lord Jesus. You see, when Jesus was on the cross, and the Bible tells us there, a little part of that story reminds us, and that truth is that for three hours, Jesus, there he's on the cross, and darkness comes across the, the whole earth. Darkness for three hours. No one can see or imagine the pain Jesus is bearing as he takes your sin and mine on himself and he takes the punishment that you deserve and I deserve. You see, boys and girls, he loves us. He loves us so much. And it tells us, boys and girls, that on the third day he arose. He arose from the dead and he did it all for you on that cross. Why? Because the Bible tells us for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's in John chapter 3 verse 16. God offers forgiveness. Will you trust him? Will you ask him into your heart and into your life? I trust that you will. This last little thing I have, you might have seen it at my feet here, it's a stone. And the story's told, boys and girls, about a, a dad and he says to his son, He's only, only a young fella, but he says to his son, Son, can you lift that stone? And they're down at the beach, and his son, he gets down and he, he goes, tries to lift it, but he can't quite lift it up. And, and, and his dad says, try again, and he gets down again, and <laughs> he can't lift it. And he says, his dad says to him, Son, you need to do something. So his son thinks again, I'll go down again. And he tries to lift it again. 
and he can't lift it and he says dad I can't lift it and his dad said all you needed to do was one thing boy scars can you tell me what the one thing you needed to do see if you get it all he needed to do was to ask his dad and his dad would have helped him and he was and that's exactly what did happen his dad and his son went down and together they were able to lift that great stone up together you see boys and girls remember if you've trusted the lord jesus that you have a heavenly father that loves you that you can trust he is all powerful and he will help us through whatever it is we're facing when we were in school or maybe at home pray and god can help you because god loves us and he wants us to trust him thank you for listening Hello boys and girls, today's high five topic was God is so powerful and we're going to have a quiz today and I have three helpers here, Trinity, Oliver, Cameron and we're going to have a wee quiz so you boys can partake at home and you can decide if you're going to be on the girls team or the boys team, you can play with some of your family if they're listening in too. So we'll have question one, Phil started his story with a verse with God, all things are what? All things are possible. Very good. Take a blue and see how many points we're going to get for the girls' team. Get in a How many, Trinity? Six. Six points. Very good. Question two. How many days did it take? God to create the world and everything in it. Six days. Six days. Take a blue. <laughs> <laughs> Get my How many points? Oh, I'll For the boys team. <clears throat> Four. Four points. <clears throat> Question three. When Moses and the children of Israel left Egypt, who came chasing after them? That would be yes. Two points. Well done. Yes. What, ha what happened to Daniel in the lion's den? God shut the lion's mouth. God shut the lion's mouth. Very good. <laughs> Four. Four points. So that's fourteen. Ten. 
Yeah, so the girls got 10 points and the boys just beat us by 14 points. Yeah! strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The rivers are His, the mountains are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Today we have learned God is powerful. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Bye! Hello boys and girls. Today we were learning about how God is powerful. And we're going to make a little bookmark with John 3, 16 on it. And if you know this verse, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that tells us all about God's love and how powerful he is to save. And this one, again, is a really easy craft. Anyone, any age can do it. I want you to just grab your felt tips and colour in your bookmark. And then, once you've finished colouring in your bookmark, you're going to take some wool and there's a little hole here, but it's not punched yet. So you have to go and get a grown up to help you make a little hole at the bottom of your bookmark. And then you're going to tie some wool through this hole. Whenever your bookmark is finished, it will look something like this. It's lovely and colorful and you can use it maybe in your school books or maybe in your Bible if you have one at home. Boys and girls, this is the time where we generally go outside and do all the fun activities and games and all of the stuff, but we can't do that this time. But what we are going to do is we're going to go out and enjoy some activities. All right, watch the little videos, want you to take part, and want you to enjoy it as well. Everybody, are you ready to do some fun exercises with me? Grab your mum, your dad, your brother, and your sister, get off the sofa, and come and join me. We're going to start off today by just warming up. We're going to wriggle our fingers, we're going to Rotate our wrists. We're gonna do some big arm circles. Rotate them both directions. Let's do one at a time. Here's our right arm and here's our left arm. Very good. Now let's put our arms up above our heads. Stretch high, 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 high. And let's come down and touch your toes. Just a nice wee stretch. If you can't touch your toes, don't worry. Just try your best. Bend your knees and come back up. Let's wriggle our toes inside our shoes. Let's rotate our ankles three times this way and three times the other way. Let's rotate this ankle three times this way and three times that way. Very good. Let's get ready to move into our first exercise. So the first exercise is jumping jacks. Everybody knows how to do jumping jacks, yeah? Just arms up above your head and legs out like this. We're gonna do it for 15 seconds. I'm gonna set a timer here and you're gonna do it along with me. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Wanna see your arms high up above your head? I want you to give it your all. It's only 15 seconds, remember? So we're gonna try and do this as best as we can. We're gonna get the heart rate up and there we go. There's the timer. 15 seconds. Very good, everybody. Now, are you ready for your second exercise? We're not taking much breaks, but it's only 15 seconds, remember. So our second exercise is, we're gonna run on the spot for, as, for 15 seconds. We're gonna do it as hard as we can. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, off we go. Lift your legs up, pump your arms. Really try your best. Make sure you set your timer as hard as you can, as fast as you can. Let's keep up the pace. And there we go. There's the timer. Good job, everybody. That one makes you really out of breath. Whew, I'm so tired. Third exercise and last one you'll be glad to hear 
is high knees. So we're gonna lift our knees up like this and touch your hands. We'll start off maybe with small and then we'll get nice and big for the finish. So this is your last exercise. Let's give it your all. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Start off small. So little, little, little jumps. And then let's get big. Lift up your hands and try and touch your hands. Ooh. Really lift those legs up. Really get them up high. It's only 15 seconds. And three, two, one. There's the timer. Very good, everybody. Brilliant job, brilliant effort. Let's just cool our bodies down by doing a little few more exercises. Let's rotate those shoulders backwards and forwards. Control your breathing, big deep breaths. Just bring that heart rate down, down, down. Let's spread our feet out. Put our arms up above our heads again and come down and touch your toes. Nice stretch. And all the way back up again. Now, put your arms out in front of you and try and pull your hands apart. Don't pull too hard because you hurt something. But that's a nice stretch just in there at your back. Very good. Now let's take this arm and cross it over our bodies and just grasp it with your left hand and rotate to the left. And let's do the same in the other arm. Cross it over your body and to the right. Very good. And for the last one, we're going to see how, how tall and how small we can make ourselves. So reach up into the sky and see how tall you can make yourself. Try and beat your mommy and daddy. Reach up high, stand on your tippy toes. And then for the last one, let's try to make ourselves really small. So crouch down and hug yourself really tight and say, good job. Brilliant effort, everybody. Well done.